Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Inventive Tech, a channel dedicated to new ultimate gadgets and innovations. From Chitty Chitty Bang Bang to Blade Runner, Star Wars to Back to the Future, the flying car has captured the public's imagination in fiction and on the big screen. Even in the real world, some people predicted that the flying car was on its way. Yet, for all the interest over the past half a century, only now are we approaching the point where our drivers, or rather pilots, will be able to buy a flying car. In this video, we're gonna talk about seven real flying cars that actually fly. Make sure you watch the video to the end, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I guarantee you're gonna love what I have in store. Let's get started. Number seven, the Ehang 184. Ehang is a Chinese drone manufacturing company and it's designed and developed the world's first electric powered autonomous aerial vehicle named 184. It's a low altitude drone that can carry a single passenger for 23 minutes of flight at sea level. Ehang 184 was introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, in January of 2016. Ehang 184 is designed for daily use and built entirely using new technology. The company is planning to work closely with government agencies across the world to develop the 184 AAV and to formulate regulations for the future of transportation. Number 6. Lilium Jet the all-electric Lilium Jet is a pioneering tilt-jet aircraft with 36 engines mounted on its flaps. Lilium Jet delivers the best range, speed, noise, and cost where you can travel in style anywhere and anytime without having to worry about the impact on your pocket or the environment. Lilium Jet's iconic design and pioneering technology bring the vision of fully electric transition flight to reality. It's the new mobility service for the modern, urbanized age. Number 5. PAL-V Inspired by nature, engineered by man, and evolved over time, the PAL-V Liberty is a groundbreaking product that inaugurates the age of the flying car. It's a marriage between safety and fun, designed to satisfy the most demanding customers. The first PAL-V Liberty models on the market will be the Limited Edition. The Limited Edition marks the launch of the flying car era. Only 90 vehicles of this edition will be sold worldwide. After the delivery of the Limited Edition models, they'll start the delivery of the PAL-V Liberty Sports models. Number four, the Maverick. The Maverick, a flying car that looks like a buggy with a parachute, was built to make the remotest regions of the world more accessible. When it's time to fly, Maverick's central telescopic mast raises and acts as a wing spar for its chute, properly known as a ram air wing. The flip of a switch diverts engine power from the rear wheels to the rear mounted five blade propeller, which propels the car across the ground, up to its takeoff speed of 40 miles per hour. Thanks to its ram air wing design, it can take flight at only 300 feet. When the Maverick is in the air, its electronic fly-by-wire system allows the pilot to steer it with the steering wheel, just like they would on the ground. According to iTech, existing sports pilots can learn to fly the Maverick within 12 hours. In flight mode, it has a maximum payload of 330 pounds. Number three, Terrafugia Transition. The Terrafugia Transition has four wheels, folding wings, and a rear-mounted pusher propeller. Powered by a four-cylinder hybrid electric engine, it can fly 100 miles an hour at altitudes of up to 9,000 feet with a flying range of 400 miles. There are controls for both flying and driving. For the roads, conventional brake and accelerator pedals and a steering wheel. For flying, the usual yoke and rudder pedals. It converts from driving to flying mode in less than a minute, but you shouldn't expect it to get you out of a traffic jam. Though it's the first vehicle certified to drive on US roads and fly in US skies, it can take off and land only at airfields and you'll need a pilot's license. Number two, Aero Mobile 3.0. The Aero Mobile 3.0 prototype was designed and manufactured by engineers led by chief designer and CTO Stefan Klein and CEO Yuraj Vakulik. In just 10 months after the release of the previous and much more basic pre-prototype of the flying car, the Aero Mobile 2.5. It has low maintenance costs and can be parked in regular parking spots in cities. Aero Mobile uses standard gasoline instead of kerosene and it can therefore be fueled at regular gas stations. It has a top ground speed of 124 miles per hour and a flight travel range of 430 miles or up to four hours, enough to reach Aberdeen from London. In the air, it can fly for four hours or up to 430 miles. And when it's in flight gliding mode, it uses less fuel than most cars, the company claims. And number one, the Terrafugia TFX. Known as the flying car for all of us, 
The four-seat TFX features a plug-in hybrid powertrain, which powers both its wheels when on the ground and two electrically driven rotors for flight. It's capable of vertical takeoff and landing as opposed to needing a runway to become airborne. Once in the air, the TFX has a claimed range of 500 miles, although Terrafugia hasn't specified a cruising speed. The firm's first model, the Transition, can travel up to 410 miles at a cruising speed of 100 miles per hour. When in flight, it can avoid bad weather, air traffic, and restricted airspace and navigate to a pre-specified landing zone and pre-selected backup landing zones by itself, although manual controls and overrides also exist. A final landing can only be approved by the driver and a full vehicle parachute system acts as a backup. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. Which one of these from the list did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. With all that being said, we'll see you in the next video.